Hello and welcome back to Beauty Inside a Box. And today I have another vintage Disney doll to show you. Ta-da! Bling! This is Snow White, um, a sparkling Snow White, it actually says down here. This doll is actually from 2001. So this doll is from like right at the end of the 90s Disney doll era and uh, when Mattel was still making them. And this doll is absolutely gorgeous. And this whole line is really rare now for some reason. Like it's really hard to find these dolls. But I found her on eBay for 20 pounds, so I bought her. And she's just gorgeous. And it's got this little hologram in the corner, which is quite cool, so that you know it's a fish Disney merch. There's all these sparkles going down the side. I'm just gonna show you the box. It says Disney here, and there's a P behind it, which I think is quite cool, kind of like a like a monogram or something. There's this cute picture of Snow White here. It says sparkling Snow White. And this was back when the Disney dolls were really pink and really like, you know, princessy. And then there's sparkles down this side as well. And the box is actually like quite deep, if that makes sense. And then on the back, it says uh, Disney at the top, obviously. And it says to be a princess is to sparkle. Okay. And there's a still from the movie there. Quite cool, really nice little shot of her and her prince. And it says, in Walt Disney's first animated film, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves, the prince's kiss awakens Snow White from the evil queen's spell. So that's like, you know, the story summed up into one sentence <laughs> here. And then here at the bottom, you can see the other dolls that came in this line. I think one of the reasons why these dolls are so rare is because this was one of the few times when most of the princesses were wearing costumes that they don't normally wear, if that makes sense. I kind of wish I could get like Belle or um, Ariel or uh, Cinderella because they're in really unusual dresses that you don't normally see them in. And Snow White's just in her normal dress, which is a shame, but you know. It would have been cool if they made a doll of her like in her rags at the beginning. That would have been interesting. Sleeping Beauty's in blue as well, which is really strange. Like normally they put her in pink. So yeah, these dolls are really cool and I really like this line. I'd really like to get more of them. But yeah, like I said before, they're really, really rare. Also in the background of the box, you can see there's like a little scene of her and there's a little cardboard cutout of Dopey down there. So yeah, that is her in her box. Now I'm gonna take her out of the box and give you guys a closer look at the doll. Okay guys and dolls, and here she is out of the box. And she's absolutely gorgeous. Honestly, this doll is so nicely made. Mattel used to do such a good job with the Disney dolls. Um, and it's such a shame that Mattel's quality is kind of not where it used to be. But yeah, her face is really, really adorable. I love the old Snow White doll faces. They're really cute. Um, and she's got a little sparkly bow in her hair, just like she does in the movie. And her hair is glued like perfectly into position. <laughs> Some of the box came off with her. Yeah, and it's done up with a little elastic band at the back there. And then she's got a little choker, uh, which matches her bow, which is really cute. She doesn't actually wear that in the movie, I don't think, but like, it's quite, quite cool. The dress is also really cool. I love these big poofy sleeves that Snow White always has. And this is new. Uh, she doesn't have that in the film, this like kind of red band going across the top. I love the little extra details. I think that's really, really cool that they like go above and beyond. And she's got kind of like uh, this like netting coming down her sleeves. Really cool. Again, another little extra touch. I think this lining here is really cool as well. Then the bottom half of her dress is really nice as well. I really want them to one day make a Snow White doll where the bottom half of her dress is made out of like a more floaty material. Because in the film, the bottom half of her dress um, looks like it's made out of a material that's much more like flowy and less rigid. But yeah, I still think it's cool and uh, I love the bright yellow color. I think Snow White has such a great color scheme. Um, really, really colorful. And it goes all the way down to her feet. And this Snow White actually has like the most movie accurate shoes I've ever seen on a Snow White doll. Snow White wears heels exactly like this in the film with the little bows on the front and a kind of chunky heel. And obviously, you know, she's bendable in all the places Barbies used to be, like at the shoulder, um, and she's got bendable knees that like snap, which I absolutely love. I miss those so much. I wish Barbie would start making dolls with these legs again. But yeah, so there she is. And I'll show you what she came with. She came with actually this little thing here, which has loads of little cardboard stands so that you can use like the dopey and the animals um, as extra toys, which I think is really a nice idea. And it's also a nice way to use the box. And she came with this hairbrush, which is a kind of unusual hairbrush for her to have. Normally they have like the Barbie 
Mattel ones, but it's really cool. I love the little star on it. So guys and dolls, that was my review of this beautiful old Snow White doll. Let me know what you think of this doll in the comments. Please don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel um, and also click the little bell icon. Yeah, liking and subscribing really helps my channel, so uh, please do as much as you can. And also don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I'll see you really soon. Bye!